indeed the density of acid rain is less than that of water due to oxygen molecules from water reacting with sulfur. We are now testing the effects of acid rain on the blue and red lit paper. As you can see, the blue lit paper turns red when there are no effects of the red lit paper. This signifies an acidic liquid. We are now testing the effects of normal water on red and blue lit paper to see the difference. As you can see, there's no effect to either of the papers. We are now taking the temperature of the acid rain. We are taking our time measuring the temperature in order to get an accurate reading. The temperature of the acid rain is roughly 23 degrees Celsius. We are now transferring the acid rain into a smaller beaker in order to test the conductivity. As you can see, the acid rain is very conductive. As you can see, the light is very bright, signifying a very conductive liquid. We are now placing some drops of acid rain onto a strip of magnesium ribbon. There are no immediate effects of the acid rain onto the magnesium ribbon. We are also placing drops of acid rain onto a strip of plastic to see if it reacts with the plastic. As you can tell, there are no immediate reactions. Transferring the magnesium ribbon and acid rain into a smaller beaker in order to leave them overnight. We're covering them with cover glass so that no contents will escape. Acid rain is a weak acid. We're going to leave these overnight because the effects of acid rain work very slowly. We are now neutralizing the remaining acid rain with 0.1 molar NaOH, a strong base. We are now pouring the neutralized acid rain down the drain with copious amounts of water. We are leaving the beakers overnight in the fume hood. After one day, there are no visual effects. After two days, there are still no effects.
Although no effects were seen during our experiment, there have been many effects of acid rain on the environment, as you can tell from the following pictures. If it's not success, I will be executed.